So today I'm talking about a P0150 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0150 code? Well, it's an oxygen sensor circuit malfunction, bank two, sensor one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors that are located down on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P0150 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank two sensor 102 sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, there's going to be two banks on the engine. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine on like cylinder location or firing order or something along those lines, and you locate the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences between engines, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one and the opposite is going to be bank two. Again, a basic overview of what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two oxygen sensors on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three, but usually there's two on each bank of the engine. Sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it. And it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And when you get this P0150 code, the sensor the computer's seeing a problem with is going to be this bank two sensor one O2 sensor. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0150 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is a bad O2 sensor. That bank two sensor 102 sensor might have just gone bad and just need to be replaced. There are some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can use it. You could go into live data or data stream, select all the O2 sensors, and then check to see how they're reading. Well, for example, here's bank one sensor one, here's bank one sensor two, here's bank two sensor one, and here's bank two sensor two. And basically what you want to see is you want to see the voltage going up and down like this. And that sensor one is going to be reading the oxygen that's coming out after combustion. And so you should see an up and down pattern like this. That's what you want to see. Coming out the back of the catalytic converter, there shouldn't be no oxygen. And so you should just see a flat line like this. If this sensor one is flat, or if it's really high, or if it's really low, then that's a problem. There's some kind of issue going on there. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about using a scan tool to test those O2 sensors to see if they have failed. I've made videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But if you have a good OBD2 scan tool that has live data or data stream, then you can use it to go and test these sensors. But the first thing that's going to cause this is a bad bank two sensor one O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. Basically, if there's any kind of open, there's a short, a blown fuse, a bad connection, anything along these lines, then that's going to cause problems. So you can go and check out the wiring. Be sure that looks good. Be sure you don't got no blown fuses or anything like this. You can also get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. You can go and check the wiring. There could be two wire sensors. There could be three wire sensors. These four wire sensors are very common. And basically what's going on with these is that these O2 sensors, they have a heater element built into it. And basically the O2 sensor part, it can't start getting accurate readings until it gets hot. And so that the computer doesn't have to wait for the engine to get hot and the whole exhaust to get hot. These sensors have a heater element built into it that helps it heat up very quickly. These heater elements usually have 12 volts going to them. Be sure to get schematics for your vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. We usually have 12 volts going to them and then they're going to be on a fuse and a relay. And the oxygen sensor part of that sensor is going to have two wires going back to the computer. It's going to have a signal wire and then it's going to have a ground wire. So you can't go and check this wiring and check to see that it's good and be sure there's no open inside the wiring or any short or anything like this because the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue with the wiring. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's an exhaust leak. And basically if there's an exhaust leak going on like the gasket and one of these flanges has gone bad and it's letting outside air get into that exhaust or there's a hole in the exhaust or something like this, then they can throw those sensors off and it can cause them to get bad readings. Of course, with this code, it is saying circuit malfunction. So that is pointing more to like a problem with the sensor or in the wiring. But just keep in mind that if there is an exhaust leak, it can cause these sensors to get bad readings and just throw them off and cause them to do strange things. So the next thing on the list is going to be an exhaust leak. And the next thing that might cause this is that there's some kind of problem going on with the engine. Again, this is pointing more towards a circuit issue. So this isn't going to be too common. But keep in mind, if bank two side of the engine, if it's running too rich or if it's running too lean, then that sensor might be picking that up and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And it's reporting this information back to the computer. And if the engine is running rich or lean, which means the air fuel ratio mixture is off, then that can sometimes trigger O2 sensor codes. Of course, usually if there's some kind of problem going on with the engine, you're going to get other codes. 
So for example, if you also were getting like a P0204 code, injector circuit open cylinder four, then there might be some kind of problem going on with that injector on cylinder number four. It might be dumping too much fuel into the cylinder, which is causing the engine to run rich. And then that sensor is picking it up and it's also triggering this P0150 code. So if you are getting any other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the last thing on list is going to be that there's some kind of problem with the engine. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0150 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.